1959, I have the very first issue of Loquitur here. And on the front page, the top story is on the Dean's List and Cabrini going to Villanova and Sacred Heart Hall being under construction. Loquitur newspaper started in the year 1959 at Cabrini. It was originally a club ran by a mad teacher named Jerry Sallow until it was developed into a communications course. We built the first comm center over in the Widener building. Uh, the major innovation was every editor was going to have her own typewriter. Um, then about a couple years later, uh, we, the computer was invented and it was uh, IBM something or other with a green screen, uh, green letters on a black screen and we bought two of the very first ones and that very year we started um, typesetting Loquitur on a computer with a floppy disk that was five and a quarter inches and uh, the students at like two in the morning would have to take the floppy disk to a printer and put it in their mail slot and then the next day we would get uh, printouts from the floppy disk and then that day we had a big um, light board, light table with fluorescent lights behind it and people would put big sheets of white paper on it and then cut each story and run it through a molten waxer and then with a rolling pin roll the story out on this paper and that would take all day and then those sheets were taken to the printer again at night and they would take a picture of the, the printer would take a picture of those pages and then make plates from it and then print the paper on the plate. Loquitur started out by having papers every week. The editors would come together and lay out stories for each print edition. This continued until Loquitur started to print bi-weekly. Now everything is posted online with few prints a year. In 2014, the Cabrini Communications Department hired alum Jillian Smith as the manager of student media operations to oversee all the media platforms, including Loquitur, Location, and WYBF. Um, my position was brand new when they hired me in 2014. There had been somebody as a communications center manager, um, but there was nobody as a student media operations manager. Um, so they hired me to kind of help converge the media. So this is the first time that there is an executive content manager position. Uh, like I said, formerly it was an editor-in-chief of the newspaper and an executive producer of the video news program location. After a lot of trial and error, Cabrini University evolved into local media. So now, instead of location having its own show and its own agenda, and Loquitur having its own paper and needing to fill 16 pages, and then you know having their own stories, um, and only sometimes working together, we're now trying to get both of those media to work together and think of stories in terms of media rather than just as a written piece or a video. It's okay. Well, here's the written piece angle, and then in the same token, here's the audio or the video piece that can go with it. Uh, I think they kind of, they blended in kind of seamlessly. It's kind of, I know they started it out new this year and it, uh, it kind of works together like hand in hand and I think that that's well. The works are related so like say if you have an article due about like uh, clowns on campus then you might have to do a video and location about clowns on campus so it's kind of just related like that in that sense. So definitely the hardest part of the transition was coming up with a way for Loquitur newspaper and location video news to be classes that are separate but still come together as one entity in Loquitur Media. So the way that we came up with doing that was to encourage all students to be enrolled at both at the same time. Obviously that doesn't happen for everyone but we had a pretty good turnout rate for that so pretty much everyone that's enrolled in the Wednesday video class is also enrolled in Monday's journalism class. I think it's a nice touch. It's a nice and easy way to keep track of everything, especially with everything being on base camp, with everything just being listed between the two classes. You know what you have to do and they tell you to make sure that you have everything down and then like the editors and everything are always there to help you out with everything too, with both classes. So with that, it becomes a lot easier because of the communications there between all the students that are in both of the classes. Um, we no longer do every story getting published all at once during the week. So there isn't like one day of the week, like Thursdays, where all the stories come out anymore, and one day of the week where all the videos come out. 
but now we've worked on being a more timely newspaper and news source. So we are publishing daily now, Monday through Friday. I mean, I think what's been constant is that um, journalism requires really good writing and really inquisitive minds and the ability to relate to people. So I think that was true in 1959 um, and you know, 2016.